Hello everyone, welcome back to the brand new Aviation Jack video, hope you're doing really well. So today we're going to be doing, well I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the cold and dark. So this is part 3, or episode 3, of the 5 by wire tutorial. Um, so today's, well literally, today's video is literally going to be setting the aircraft up, getting it ready for push and start, state and take off, and then that will be about it for today, and then we'll move on to everything else. But um, yes, let's get this on the way. So first of all, what you want to do is to get the aircraft, loaded into the simulator ready to start planning and flying we want to come to the um, world map so we're going to go from the home screen which is here and then go to world map then here you are so you set your aircraft as you know we are doing the fly-by-wire simulations um, A320 NEO um, in the Finnair and then we departed from Helsinki today so we're going to go to gate 15 um, doesn't matter what one you just choose a gate whatever one you fancy um, and then we're going to be going to Stockholm because it's a good flight, a good distance flight to, to do a tutorial in as well. So we're going to do that. Um, gate 15 from Helsinki. Um, now what you're going to do here, do not click anything. Do not say to Stockholm because or to where you're going because it's going to give you that uh, default flight plan and you don't want that. So we're going to go to the flight conditions. We're going to do Moss player off, air traffic off and we're going to do live weather on. Then click fly. There we go, so wait for this to load and then we'll get straight into the simulator. So as you can see, we're just about to load and the aircraft here is, um, oh it says British Airways for some reason, not British Airways. We're going to click ready to fly, here we go, and it pops us into the aircraft which is great. If we head to the outside, here we go, you can see a bit more over here, it looks very nice doesn't it? Um, yep, so anyway, we're in Helsinki airport, obviously I've always said we're going to Stockholm, it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to get the aircraft loaded from obviously cold and dark to push and back, or to push and back, to push back. Uh, so let's head back into the flight deck. And before we do anything, we need to head over and do our flight plan, which is very important. So we're going to head over to uh, Sim Toolkit Pro. You don't have to do this. You can choose a different flight plan in the software, but I'm choosing this one. Um, so we are heading from EFHK. Obviously in the description I will put um, some places we can get your flight plan from, so you can use Simbrief, which is what SimTalkit Pro uses, but this is like a full on EFB type thing. So Helsinki to Stockholm, um, Finnair, yeah, cool, uh, cool sign today, we're going to do Finnair 1 Tango, which is the same 1 Tango over here, and this is our flight plan, so we're going to put Generate Plan, as you can see it does Simbrief. like so that's fine okay so then here's our route for the day and here we are up here up here it says it which is our route okay that's all we really need for now so we're going to head over back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and get everything loaded in the flight deck I'm just going to make sure what did I do before aha uh -huh. these are my views I believe yes nice Okay, so we're going to head up to the overhead panel and get this loaded. So first of all, we want to turn on the external power, like so. Wait for you dings, there we are. A few noises you can hear. Great, and then we're going to turn on battery 1, like so, and then battery 2. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to work from left to right, down to up. Or is it up to down? No, it's down to up. Okay. So we're going to do cruise supply on, like so, and I'm going to switch IR1. These are our ADIs, or the um, ADIRS, which is the PFDs and the ND here, which is what these use to um, locate where we are and tell you your altitude and speed. So it's these two screens that they um, perform on. So your PFD here, turn up the PFD to 100%. Turn up the ND as well. Do the same down here. Turn all of these on, all the screens on. Just brighten them up basically. Okay, so IR1 is on, we're going to do a IR2 next. Wait for the um, on bat to disappear. Oh, it has, cool. And do IR3, nice. And then we're going to head here, nav and logo to 1. Seatbelt signs, no smoking signs on, and emergency exit lights to arm. Very nice. And we're going to leave this all as it is. Um, up here, I don't think we can actually. No, we can't do that. Okay. Cool. 
very good. And then we're going to set our Q&H, which is 1015. There we are. You can find your Q&H in the weather details, but just press B if you're struggling. Okay, cool. We come down here then. We're going to do a few bits of configurations down here. Uh, we're going to switch this to auto. This is your TCAS and your TA, so other air other aircraft and for ATC can see you. Um, 2000 is the default. So as you can see here right now, it's just on traffic. Um, so your default is 2000, so we'll put that in. But we're not on that sim, so it doesn't really matter today. This is your weather radar. We're going to switch um, weather radar to 1, and then predicted wind shear to auto, and then map. There we go. Right, let's head down to the FMCs, which is the main bit today. So, FMC, just for that, come and zoom in a bit. In it, and here's all of our flight plan page. This is, this is where you load your flight plan into the sim. So we're going to do, oh, an actual fact, before we do that, we can actually do it from the EFB. So turn, turn on your EFB instead. We'll make sure this finds it first. Here we are. Oh, it's all new. I didn't have done this one before. Um, then down here, as you can see, it says from Simbrief. It is interlinked with Simbrief, which is very cool. So click from Simbrief. And then hopefully, what should happen, it should pick up our flight plan. Usually it does. If not, then I don't know. We'll click it a few times. <laughs> Okay, that's odd. Uh, don't worry about it. We can do it from here anyway. It might pop up soon. Okay, so we're going to do an init, um, our from to page over here. So we're going to click, oh, why is that all the way up? There we go. Uh, from to E F H K slash um, Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha. From to, which is our iCals of where we're going from and to. Uh, flat number over here. Um, we like we said before, we are. Um, I think it's F I N Fin One Tango. I did say One Tango, didn't I? Yes, I did. Cool. So Fin One Tango goes in there, and then if you look at the cost index and crew slash flight temp. Oh, I just realised we're still in the screen, aren't we? Um, not to worry. What we can do is we're gonna press. Um, do 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 do. Just have a quick look. See if it's on here. No, it's not. Okay. Um, click fly now on Simbrief or Simtalkit Pro, sorry. And as you can see, it has all of our details here. Uh, connect to MSFS. There we go. And then go to our OFP and then you give our cost index here. Um, so, oh, not that, sorry, our load sheet. Cost index is 5 for the day. So, if you don't have this program, I do recommend you install it. And our cruise altitude is 320. Flight level 320, we're going at. I personally feels a bit too high if you ask me. So you might have to change that, but whatever. Right, flight level 320, nice. And then we're going to do the IRS init, align and confirm. So like, once again, this is how we align our IRSs. Now it takes seven minutes to align. Nice. Return. Cool. And we're going to head to our flight plan. So here we have our departure and our arrival airport and at the moment we have no flight plan whatsoever and that is an issue so what you want to do you want to go to your departure departure here we're going to look at the active runways and everything like that so if we have a look um, at the active runway currently so have, we'll look on active sky because it's just easier obviously it doesn't actually work what you can do is look at the active runways on um, the internet but because I have this program, I'm just going to quickly use it. Um, two to right or two to left. Cool. Not to worry. So we can depart off two to right or two to left. Okay, so sorry, Izzy added three November departure. This one here. And then press insert. And then here we have our departure. And then from the Adivo, which is here, we're going to do the airways. And the reason I'm doing it from Adivo, because that is where the departure ends. The departure SID ends. So then we head back to our flight plan. And then we had to fly now, sorry. Um, here we go. And then we have a look at our OFP load sheet. So after Adivo, which is here, like I said, it's Y365. So we head into the sim and then we put in the waypoint. So Y365. Anything with numbers in is usually a via. Okay? And you can see that goes in. And then a 2 is usually a waypoint. 
So if we had a look at here, see, Pogok, there's absolutely no numbers in that, so that is a waypoint. So POG, okay. And actually, the, usually, the way it usually goes, it usually goes, um, as you can see here, um, waypoint, airway, waypoint, and then direct, waypoint, airway, waypoint, um, and then star, which is your arrival, okay? So, but for now, we're going to put in Pogok, which is POG, okay. P O G O K. There we go. Pogok. And then we're going to put insert. And then from Pogok, direct, wasn't it? So it's direct runga. So R U N G A. So next waypoint, which is the. There we go. Insert. So there we go. It's found runga. So then from runga, we have airways again. So we head back to um, Cintopic Pro, then it's N872. N, do, 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 N872. Nice. And then head back here, then it's Zillan. So X I L A N. X I L A N. 2. Cool. And then we end it there because we have a star. So we don't need to do that yet because we're nowhere near the arrival. So we're going to pop that in just like so, and that is our flight plan loaded. Head up to here, as you see our IRSs have also loaded. We now have a flight plan, which is just great. There we go, look at that. Wonderful. Cool. Great. And then what we want to do, come over to our EFB. See if it loads from Simbrief now. Maybe it's not enabled. I'm not sure. with that um, we're gonna head to the MCDU menu Atsu AOC init initialize data request there we go as you can see it's found it fuel on board 9.5 is that just how much we've got no good so it's already so it's already popping the fuel from the EFB here so taking 7190 and if we click instant here and then click there up there we go so the fuel has been loaded in now we look here fuel on board there we go 7180 so pretty much very good right finally so we've got that loaded in um, head back to the Atsu menu AOC make sure nothing else that we have to do which is not which is good um, we could do boarding actually but I don't think we really need to um, passengers and door forward I mean if you wanted to use the jetway to get the passengers on um, all you have to do is click door forward and there we go and then here comes the um, jetway while the door opens. Obviously, there's actually no boarding sounds and no GSX, so pretty much is what it is. That's all you got for now. But um, we'll just pretend boarding has started and the boarding's completed. And what we'll do is we will get rid of the passengers and door forward. Not passengers, sorry, the um, jetway. Okay, nice. Um, what else have we got here? It's all changed since I last used it, so it's pretty nice cool okay cool right let's get our MCP loaded have I got a not really okay right so cruising today flight level 320 so we want to set that here there we go 320 um, this should all be popped in flight director this should be on VOR 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 nice pop yourself in not sure it doesn't do it obviously this is not FS Labs quality at the moment, so that's probably why. Um, let's have a look. Oh, we should do our perf request as well, actually, to do that. Up here, everything looks good up here, so let's do our perf request. Okay, so V1, VR, and V2. We start doing that. So, doing a flaps 1 takeoff slash up 0, 0.0. Oh, hello. Uh, 0, 0 put that in there cool and then usually there we go and then here is our speeds perfect then we're going to do a takeoff uh, toga today for takeoff so that's why we've got these speeds here and that should load it in there we go that's why I didn't do it okay nice so we're actually pretty much ready for pushback and departure now so if we head up to the overhead panel up here we're going to switch on the fuel pumps as the fuel is loaded and this is where you start the APU. Here it says APU. So first of all, we want to do is switch on the master switch, and they're going to come down here to the panel, 
and then wait to see flap open. There we go, flap open, and now you're clear to start the APU. And while you're at it, it may as well pop on the beacon light because we're going to start pushback and departure very shortly. And then also, once the APU is loaded and um, power, power in I suppose, and then you can turn off the external power. But you cannot turn off external power until the APU is on. Otherwise you shall lose all your power, which I'm pretty sure no one really wants. Let's have a look outside, shall we? Got a nice few views here. Already, only two. Where's the rest of them gone? I've had more, I've had more than two views here. Oh well. Very nice aircraft though. Much better. Let's go outside. Oh, the door's still open. Door should be shut. There we go. Cool. Very, very nice aircraft, don't you think? I do. Okay, so has the APU started? Let's have a look. APU is available, and that's how you know because it has the green avail um, light here. Now, as I get APU power into the um, aircon to get the engine started and everything like that, you want to click on the APU bleed. So when the bleed's on, you can start the engines, you can do a bit of aircon control and all that stuff. Um, but because the APU's now started, we can turn off the external power. Boom, off goes external power, and as you can see, everything has still is still on. That's great. Right, cool. So, next step to do is get the engine started and push back and departure ready. So, we're going to switch the TA to TARA, like so. Everything up here is good, nothing else you really need to change. So, we're going to try doing this. Hello, there's a dog. And we're going to try doing this from um, the EFB so instead. So, we're going to call the tug. Hopefully, the tug comes over, which it does. Wait for the tug. Right, so once the pushback tug is um, onto your aircraft, you can come back over to the EFB and you can press. Um, I suppose you push that. Yeah, cool. And then off the, the parking brake, and then the back arrow, and you'll start moving. And then while you're doing that. Um, this is the bit where you want to start your engines as well. So you want to come up to the overhead panel, make sure that your APU bleed and APU is all on, which it is. Switch the engine start switches to ignition start, and you can switch either engine 1 or engine 2 on, depending on what the aircraft company does, but if I should start engine 1 first. So pop on engine 1, and then as you can see down here, you'll start to see the N1 and N2 rising. You start with, well, you see the N2 rising first. Um, if I was you'd also check outside to make sure the aircraft's going the right way. We want to go left a bit, because this is one way we're taking off from. 2 to right, which is right in the distance. And there we go. And you can see engine 2, also oh, engine 1 lies in here. Good. Okay, and then we can probably, um, we can probably sort the pushback here actually. There we go. Nice. And then we'll come down here and then set the parking brake. We can get rid of the tug. Tug can go away. Bye bye. Off they go. Double check engine one is now available, which means you can start engine two. And then watch engine two rise, make sure everything's good.
Okay, so Perns will taxi. Thank God we've got this little map here. We'll just taxi all the way down through here, pretty much straight line, and then through to your right, which is this runway. And then we do a looks like a left turn to a right turn, but it probably won't do that. Probably head on straight to HK461. Okay, nice. So engine two still waiting on that. Won't be too much longer. There you go. Engine two is available now. So you can switch this back to normal. We're going to set flaps one because that's the flaps position that we set. Everything else there is good apart from failing to arm spoilers. Actually, it all pops up here as you do it. Max auto brake. Oh, hello. It's taxi lights and runway tunnel flights on. Master switch off and the APU bleed come off as well. Then we do a flight control check as well. So full left. As you can see, it comes up down here. These three points: this one, this one, and this one. Full right. Full up and full down. They want full rudder left and full rudder right. Cool. And then all the controls are free, so then we can start taxiing. That concludes this video. So um, obviously the next video will be taxi and takeoff. This one is simply going to stop here. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you all in the next part. See you shortly. Bye bye.